Aquí están Cabo Bay. And today, your premier resource for anything and everything Filipino and Filipino-American. We're trying to get you ready for Valentine's Day, talking about relationships today on the show. But before that, I would like to remind everyone, uh, meron po kaming pa-contest dito sa ating programa. We're giving you a chance to win $100 in cash. All you need to do is download the SyncPack app sa inyong mobile device phone, tablet, or any of that sort. And watch Cabo Bayan today, uh, episode February 7th. Bilangin kung ilang beses lalabas ang Think Back app at ipadala sa amin ang inyong sagot with your name and phone number. Contest at LA18.TV. We are going to be uh, accepting entries till February 12th. So magmadali. Happy watching Cabo Bayan today and good luck sa inyo. Sana manalo kayo. Meanwhile, pang date yan, $100. Valentine's Day, we're talking uh, today about relationship, bringing you experts once again to answer your questions. Gail Lafreniere, you saw her yesterday talking about dating for women and men over 50. Licensed marriage and family therapist. Hello, welcome to the show. Hi, Janelle. And we get uh, attorney Jesus Silva every year here on the show to answer your questions about family law. Attorney, welcome to Cabo Bayan today. Thank you, Janelle. It's great to be here. I guess my first question is Valentine's Day. And uh, Gail, we were talking about this before the start of the program, and you mentioned that uh, it can hurt uh, also a relationship so it goes both ways your thoughts on Valentine's Day well Valentine's Day is such a lot of pressure for a lot of couples because they feel like they have to do something on Valentine's Day and sometimes you know financially or emotionally or whatever else is going on with you sometimes you're not ready to do anything big on Valentine's Day but um, for a lot of couples maybe they you could kind of change the outlook in a way where it's not just one day maybe you could just spread Valentine's Day throughout the yeah, year yeah. and maybe do little things instead of one big thing. And hearing it from uh, the perspective of a man and a family lawyer, Jesus says. <laughs> well, from a family attorney perspective, I do get clients that come into my office and let me know, well, the reason why I want a divorce is because the other spouse wasn't very receptive or sensitive to my needs with regard to perhaps Christmas, sometimes birthdays, some things like val day. Valentine's Day right. brings out sometimes the best and the worst out of a dysfunctional relationship. Mm -hmm. right. So talking, it, they yeah. do matter. Right. They matter. For you, they matter. For you, every day is Valentine's yes. Day. It's All an right. opportunity. Right. When we talk about dysfunctional relationships, I know some of you may have questions regarding family law, prenup, divorce, you know, child custody, support, anything of that sort. And um, uh, Gail is here to answer your questions about saving a relationship, perhaps, or how to communicate uh, with your partner. That's the phone number to call. It's Talk Tuesday. Phone lines open. Gail, when, when do you say... Uh, enough when do you stop saving a relationship when do, can you tell that you know I've, I've done enough well you know when we see when I see a couple usually they come into the office with what we call a mixed agenda one one wants one to save it. yes one wants to save it one is out the door uh -huh. and that's part of the process of fighting out but um, what what you need to know is that in a relationship making it successful it takes both to make it successful so okay. it's 50 50 okay. so that means to make it not work it also takes 50 50 right? right which means if one person is not as invested as the other person in making it work it's really very hard to make it work when couples see you Jesus wanting to get a divorce do you see that mixed agenda is there someone in that couple that still wants to maybe try to make it work it's rare, but about one out of every ten cases actually does reconcile. Not all divorces, you know, go through all the way to the judgment. Many okay. people start it, but then change the process because they've seen somebody like Gail or another marriage and family therapist to try to save their relationship. Right. So it's not always the end just coming into a, an attorney's office to try to see what your legal rights would be right. if you end up doing a permanent legal separation. Right. But um, so what do you see in those couples that end up getting a divorce and end up and the couples that are uh, end up getting a reconciled? A real myriad of, of differences. I mean, it could be that you ha see, don't see eye to eye with regard to raising the children. More often than not, it's financial related differences and how somebody would run a household versus how another person would want to choose it. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, at least one thirty cases have to do with infidelity, falling out of love and finding a new partner. And I just want to add to that also part of the other, the, the reason is it, they say it's not really a major thing, but those little habits mm -hmm. of personal habits really build up to big things right. over a span of, you know, if a, if a couple has been to together for maybe 15 years or whatever right. so those little little annoyances yes. get to them and that's when they say you know enough is enough and I often hear 
from, you know, and I ask, so what, what made you decide to, to separate? Right. And sometimes they just say, I don't know, it just happened. It right. just happened. Can you tell in your, how many years of practicing family law already? Fifteen. Fifteen years mm -hmm. of family, uh, practicing family law and divorcing people. Can you tell when a person or a couple is letting go of a relationship too early or when a couple is letting go of a relationship too late? I have advised couples on many occasions that they should probably seek therapy and try not to necessarily terminate it before they know, you know, that it's, it's going to be uh, permanent. Right. However, however, you definitely see couples that you know from the very get-go they would never work. And usually I only see one party for the most part. Nine right. times out of ten for the most part. It's right. just one client coming in my office. Okay. But you can tell from a bullet point list of items that they want to talk about. Like Gail mentioned, certainly the other side is going to have a vastly different set of agendas and priorities right. than the list that this one person has brought me. And perspective, maybe. One person is seeing it this way and the other person is seeing it that way. And without knowing it, they're arguing about something that you know, that is not, you know, you can't compare, right. Right? right? We're going to be talking a little bit more about this, plus taking your phone calls when we return on the show. Don't go away.